here. Definitely uh, not not a rare pick for IG, but is a hero that works very well with this aggressive opening of CM and Monkey Kid on XSS teaming up on bot. And as far as killing these heroes, I'm not really sure. I mean, Rubik does have a lot of movement speed. Shoals a poor man shield, and he's just naturally kind of difficult to heal off. They'll try to go for FY regardless with no lockdown at all, so I'm not really sure if that was the right play, but Boca is going to get some help from the neutrals, though. Centaur stomping, slowing the enemies down. Now here comes Q, freezing up the Rubik. That should be first blood. No, it's going to be aggressive grabbing it. The at, the troll adding a little bit of nuke damage. I mean, Crystal Nova is, is a pretty good spell, but yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that would have tipped the scales. It's a first blood attempt, after all. Speaking of some blood attempts, FY, Smoke, Glowing, I'm pretty sure OP's got eyes on that. Although it was uh, in Observer War range. So yeah, he definitely sees him. And FY with the sentry drop may think that he's not seen. Rest assured, dude, you are definitely seen. Speaking of seen, on the bottom lane, Troll Warlord frozen in place. Here comes the stick and the beatdown. Should be enough, and it will be. XSS gonna grab another one. FY arrives, lifts up a Boca, does nothing because of the heal, and now freeze onto the Rubik. A little bit of trouble himself. Takes about half his HP worth of damage. In. I think the courier saw him. Yeah, the courier definitely did, but Freeze is gonna get jumped on regardless. Here come the missiles. Freeze is gonna stun up, and Laguna the Crystal Maiden blow her up before she gets anything off, but they still should be able to take down Freeze, and they will. Fender and FY, tag team coming in. RTK from the back is gonna lock down the tanker. Couple more right clicks. He does have a lot of movement speed thanks to that hunger. OP should not be able to survive, nor get to the high ground. He will tick out. Gapaboka still hunting. That's unfortunately is not gonna tip the skeletons to level six. It's still level five, so he cannot lock down the troll for that kill. Pretty good defensive rotations coming out from the Rubik, and oh no, something else is happening. It's ROTK already took the full force of Burning Spin, and the Omni safe lane. You'd rather have him be. No, zero, 0 just clean, no action whatsoever. And now he's going to get jumped. Q going in for the Frostbite. Nova's there as well, plus the duel now active. Finn going to come in. Duel will time out. Oh, no, it won't. XS will get the win. Heading towards that ultimate. Speaking of getting kills, so here comes the combo. Lift him up into Yelsei. Blast him with the cannon. And there goes the Tinker. Will do absolutely nothing. Phoenix, your bluff is going to be called so hard by XS. Looking for the duel. He had the chance to dive away, but uh, he's going to get dueled regardless and popped. Uh, I'm, I'm going to keep himself safe from this uh, gank train of the IG squad. Aggressive is going to take to the jungle, it looks like. But speaking of gank train, Freeze is going to get surrounded and Omni Slash. Luckily for him, it does bounce over to the catapult that lets him get a kill on Baboka. Burning never lucky, and now here comes RTK. I don't think he has a blink dagger. No, he doesn't. He went for Vanguard. He will get stopped in his tracks. Ooh, man, if that, again, if that Omni Slash last hit hit the Lina, no kill for her. Lina's actually getting some uh, pretty clutch kills with that Laguna Blade. Did that happen? I think it might have just happened. Who knows what happens in this type of game. FY, gonna get a lift up on the burning. XS gonna jump immediately in, though, onto Freeze. And here come the monkeys. Freeze already down in an instant. FY, not faring too well himself. He's gonna get obliterated by Baboka's stick. Absolutely destroyed Baboka. That was like instant coincidental counter warding. They're still gonna go in for the Phoenix though. They got the duel and they still kill him. Yeah, I mean, it's a level fighting into a shrine. Well, actually, luckily for them, it's dead, but only for another 10 seconds. ROTK gonna wander in, blink stun onto the Crystal Maiden. Can they kill off before anything serious happens? It seems like no, the support just got cut off in the middle as XSS and Baboka both jump in, pinching him off, triple kill for the Legion. And oh man, if you do get the blink on him. Uh oh, freeze. Here comes a Monkey King. Here comes a Tanker in reinforcements. And with the burst damage, they'll take her down before any sort of spells are casted and starving for gold. <laughs> Look at this Phoenix. This is poverty level Phoenix. 900 gold. 18 minutes in. Oh, and they also pop. Yeah, he's mega dead. The instructions are fortified. And the tower is being pushed in the meantime. Bernie's gonna charge in towards the Lina. Nice Yule Scepter. Can't do anything about it. RTK is gonna jump in, but what damage can an axe do in this situation? The Sunray may keep him alive right now, but it doesn't seem like it is actually going to be enough. There's just so much damage here from Burning Baboka. Dominating spree for the monkey and OP snipes Fenrir in the base. How how is he even taking damage? What was hitting him? I have no idea what was hitting, but they're going to go in anyway for Aggressive, who's so far been doing a pretty good job at dodging fights until now. Frozen in place and dead. FY is going to try to spin himself out of there. He's called. This has got to be... I mean, okay, we, we know. 
IG are good, right? Like, we all know that. Uh, BGJ did a pretty good job at 